As artificial intelligence continues to reshape the way we work, many professionals are discovering new ways to boost productivity, streamline their operations and stay ahead of the curve. But to truly harness AI's potential, both mindset and method must evolve. And joining me now is John Merkus from johnmerkus.com. It's good to have you in the studio, my friend. What's the biggest way AI is helping people work smarter at the moment? What are you and your team seeing? Yeah, great question, Mike. Thanks for having me. So how it's working is I'm able to fulfill on my mission quicker and faster than I was before. So we're all in business or in life for a reason. Mm. And it's one of the greatest times to be alive. So my mission is to empower as many humans and organisations to, to live their fullest potential. Mm. So I can focus on that mission rather than copywriting, doing those kind of things. Now, I don't mind doing those things, but that's not a true focus on my mission. So I can really hone in on my mission. So if you're not, and also, if you're not a business owner and you're a professional, you can also use that as to why you're a professional, why you're in business. So it really helps impact hmm. and and live your why. Yeah, I think there's that clarity that it brings, you know, when you're not busy, you know, doing numbers or doing copy and these sorts of things. It, it, and it's about getting that clarity about your why, as you've mm -hmm. said. Um, but let's touch on how professionals can shift from AI confusion to confident use. There are so many tools out there. People get very excited, very confused, yeah, very quickly. Yeah, yeah, and it's easy to get overwhelmed. Yeah. Uh, as you say, so many tools out there. And what I found is coming with a growth mindset. Mm. Now this is important whether you're using AI or whether you're a dad or whether you're a business leader, whatever you're doing in life, I found if you come with a growth mindset, life becomes more enjoyable. Yeah. So instead of this is too much for me, I don't know, what not, you can be asking yourself, okay, how can I have fun with this? And I'll come with a curious mindset. Remember, there's no judgment. When you're using AI, it's just you and AI. Yeah. So you don't have to be worried about people laughing at you, whatever, you know, being judged, let's say. It hasn't laughed at me yet. <laughs> no. and, well, I like to have a bit of fun with it as well. So I call, when I'm interacting with ChatGPT, mm. I've said, refer to yourself as Zoe, and I'll refer to you as Zoe as well. That makes it more human for me, more interesting. And Mike, what I've asked Zoe to do is refer to me as the rock star. As the rock star, very cool. I think my one calls me Wayfarer or something. Yeah, well that's the thing, and that's about having fun with it. So, uh, you know, we're all so significant uh, about things. Let's be playful. So yeah. I think coming with a growth mindset and being a bit playful and having a go, that's uh, John, I really appreciate the optimistic mindset. We do hear a lot of doom and gloom and whatnot, and I've uh, referenced the Terminator many, many times, more than I care to mention in this. So I like the optimistic side of things you're yeah. bringing. How have you personally embedded AI across your business, though? Let's touch yeah. on that for a moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, another great question. So in several ways, so with what I do, my the process I start with is research. Yeah. So I'm researching organisations, events, summits, conferences mm. that want to hear from someone like me on stage speaking, empowering individuals. So AI helps me research those kind of events all over the world. Yeah. Not only does it do that though, it looks at how my skill set and what I talk about fits in with their mission and what they're about. Maximise your service to them. And another level, Mike, it looks at the previous speakers they've had before and seeing if there's any gaps or anything that I can bring that they haven't had before. So it helps me differentiate myself with what they've had before. And that kind of research yeah. would take months, ages, and a, and a lot of time and effort to do that. Yeah. So I can have that done. Once that's done, then I can focus on reaching out to those organisations and eventually making a difference to those people, which is getting back to the why as well. So that's how I've integrated it with deep research to help me uh, find and connect with the people that want to do business mm. with me mm. and that I can make a real difference to. And there's that human connection at ultimately the end of the day. Uh, and it's, that, it's funny, that research for me feels a lot like folding a croissant. You're sort of getting better and more and more and as you go through. Um, but John, just in the interest of time, I'm curious to know a little bit about why you believe now is the time to embrace AI without fear. And then I want to know where people can go to connect with you and help out. Absolutely. Well, why? this is the best time is because I'll give you another example of, of how I integrate it in my business. Mm. I have a virtual boardroom, a think tank, a focus group if you like. I have Anthony Robbins on it. I have Simon Sinek on it. 
I have Mel Robbins on it. They're not related. They're great thought leaders, though. Uh, I have uh, Dr. Wayne Dyer. Oh, yeah. Louise Hay. Some of these people aren't living now, right? But they are in my virtual boardroom and they can help me with innovation. I can run ideas through that group of people, right? So this is a concept that I had no idea that I could even do. Um, so imagine having access to those people. That would cost hundreds of thousands of dollars yes. and a logistical nightmare because some of them aren't even on the planet to get them in a room to say, hey, I've got this idea. Or if you were me, what would you do in yeah. this particular scenario using the benefit of all their knowledge and experience? That is a complete game changer and mind blower. Feel free to use it yourself. All right, John, where are we going to head and find out more information and perhaps get some of that brain trust, uh, you know, knowledge? <laughs> Absolutely. JohnMercus.com, that's uh, Mercus with a K. You can see all my services there. And also check out my podcast, Rise and Thrive Conversations for Greatness. Wonderful stuff from you, my friend. And thank you for joining me in the studio. An absolute joy, Mike.